Jumping. Oh, what's the video? Oh, no, what's the tool? Yes. Having to fucking clue up, right? Take it all away. This. So mad. Welcome to Keen's Kitchen. Keen's. Welcome Keen's to Keen's. Keen's. Welcome to Keen's Kitchen. Where today we're going to be cooking. Food. Food. Because what else do you cook? In a kitchen. If it's not food. So I'm going to be cooking beef mince. I'm going to be cooking chicken. And there's going to also be green veg cooked as well. I'm going to show you how we cook these foods and you'll see that they're not bland at all. <clears throat> because a lot of people... Is that why, why do we have the cameras away? They're very, very tasty indeed. Very simple and both very similar. Practically the same. One would say. But effective. And efficient. Yeah. If you do, if it's so good, man. I'm just going to stop talking. Let's get to cooking. Let's do it. So the ingredients. First thing we're going to show you guys is the frozen green beans. Okay, so we're actually using green beans today and asparagus as our green veg. Probably one of the best to put that there and not go across it. Yep, that's it. So them two today is our green veg. Now we're very fond of using frozen <coughs> veg. So today we're going to use sliced mushrooms and sliced onions for the beef mince. And then Dave is going to use in Peppers. Yep. For the chicken. Just peppers. Just peppers. Okay, and the reason why we like to use the the frozen stuff that's already cut up is because it saves us a lot of time, so it's very convenient, and it also delivers a lot of moisture to the meal. So you'll see that further into the video. Okay? How so, like the postman delivers the mail to your house. Exactly. It delivers the moisture. Exactly. <laughs> and just very, very basic, the seasons that we're going using. So we like to use this job, the old El Paso taco. Old El Paso range, all of it's pretty good, but the, this one here. Yeah, garlic and paprika. Now we, we will leave a discount code in the description, okay? So you'll be able to get 10% off that in Tesco. Smoked paprika, again, Tesco sponsored athletes. So yep, yeah, just get that, paprika smoked. And then the lemon juice, which actually I won't be using in the mince, but Dave will be using that in the chicken, chicken for sure. And then obviously, we got our meat. We, yeah. Do you have? I know what mine. Mine is that's 375 grams of 97 percent, or is it 98 percent lean beef mince? Yeah. In Jolly Meat Company, and you have. And for everyone who's not OCD, that's just four chicken breasts, medium. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay. So, the first thing that we always do, just for convenience and time's sake, because it takes the longest, is the green veg. Okay, boy. Approximately the size of the dish, as you do. That was smooth. Good. So, put this down. You cover your tray. Obviously, you don't want to be cooking your green veg on a dirty tray for obvious health reasons. <coughs> Keen's very clean. Keen's a very clean guy. Okay, so that's that done. Fill it out, and we get rid of. Now, there's been rumors that these blue bands contain 27 grams of protein each. I just like to put them to bed, that's bullshit. They only contain like 15. Half the asparagus. Sorry, do that again. Looks good, looks good. Asparagus halved. Now, I'm actually gonna quickly slice these because as you can see, they're too thick. So, go. Now this is actually a revolutionary way of cooking your green veg. I would seriously highly recommend it. It's a lot tastier and it's not as bland or as boring as boiling it. I, I that, agree. Yeah, I used to do that for years agree. and uh, I'm sick of it. That's the asparagus. Done. Next part is the frozen green beans. Okay. So, however many you want. now. This today for me is actually an on-train day, so I'm gonna have a lot more veg. Don't know about you, Dave, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna pile in the green veg here. 
Would you say you use half a bag each time? Usually, yeah, but I'm having a bit more today because I like to have more veg on an entree. And day. also, you have another guest in your house, so. Exactly, and you have to be thoughtful of that guest as well. Otherwise, he'll get very upset. Stop drop, don't drop the green. And uh, don't put that back in there, put it in the bin. Okay? Well, why wouldn't you eat that? But you touch another person's genitals with your mouth. I would. <laughs> right, this part. A very important part as well. Just it just helps it cook, makes it a little bit more crisp, so it makes it crispier. One cal spray, just a couple of sprays. So one, two. <laughs> Don't try to spray the veg and not the the counter. Top. The counter top. Yeah. Well, what was just the hob? The hob. Yeah. The hob. Back here now we get it again. Mark Fiddy's right. job. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. Plenty. There we go. That's six calories there. Six calories. <laughs> Just bring us down here to the oven. So I have the oven already preheated at 250 degrees Celsius, as you can see. So Let's get a look inside that oven. Oh, baste your oven in turkey. Literally. Now, so that's the oven, it's nice and warm. Fantastic. You feel the warmth <clears throat> of the oven coming out through the camera. And you slide it in, like you're sliding into somebody's DMs. Ah, oh, I was just gonna say it. Yeah? Yeah. Nice. Very good. There it is, so leave that in there. There it is. Okay, that's that, done. It's the first part of our recipe slash meal, done. Great, thanks Keen. No problem. Okay, about to chop some chicken, but first, I'm gonna wash my hands. Dark and sick. Okay. So what we like to listen to when we're cooking? Yep. Actually, have you it's no messing aside? I was gonna say, have you a technique for this that you actually use? Oh, I've, I've no technique at all. Only technique when it comes to my deadlift. I mean, I even fucked that up. <laughs> actually, the sauce the trick from Keen I actually got was to not get one breast. You can get a few breasts at a time. So, chicken breast, that is. Yes. Chicken nice. breast. It's the best kind. All right, cut the fucking thing. Nice. Is there? Are you doing anything in particular there, or you're just cutting straight through? If it looks like I know what I'm doing, I don't. And tell me, are you cutting these into big pieces or small pieces? Another tip I've learned from Keen Bread is it just all tastes better when it's small. The chicken that is. Huh? The chicken that is. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously. What else? Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna slice these up even more. Yeah. So I'm just gonna go down with this job. Okay. I just washed my hands. I use soap, so it's chicken. You might get a hint of El Paso and uh, dove. That's it. Try a bit more. Yeah. No. This bar is towards the pan. And that in itself is a... Yeah, there's, there's ways of doing that too, you know? Video. Right, next step. The pans are already preheated, so they're on their top temperature of six. So about five to six sprays. Yeah, spray mine as well, you prick. Well, yours is on too. Yep. Two, three, four. Give me about seven. Oh, seven, is it? They're not coming up properly. Okay. That's the next step. So obviously you spray your one cal spray, extra virgin olive oil onto the pan. And now Dave is going to find the chicken. Always turn on the pan. Cool. Next so step. Before I do that, I just want to put on a t-shirt. Pause for a sec. Hat or no hat. Alright, it's a little bit, little bit chilly, eh? Next step. Frozen peppers. Frozen peppers, a lot. Next, so chicken goes on, the peppers goes on. 
This is probably the most probably important part of the of the of getting it to taste unbelievable. Again, you can track this calories wise. I don't. It's not packing. And I put a lot on. And then. Yeah. What's the idea of the lid? Oh, one thing I first bring. Lemon juice. Lemon juice. Yeah. Go for it. This tastes really good with chicken and beef burgers. That's enough, man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Safe to say there's going to be some taste from that. Next, we we'll do the mince. Turn down the heat. So you turn down the heat after that, the initial blast from six. So six is the highest to about four. Right, next, we have beef mince. So obviously, I've washed my hands too. <laughs> I like to just break it up and sprinkle it over as I'm doing it because I find it cooks a lot better that way I put it all in in one big bunch nice and pink in the middle mint that's that done okay and the next part of the process is frozen onions I like to put the onions in first don't know why but I do man of routine I sprinkle them around because the secret with the frozen veg is that it just moistens the food up as does putting the um, the lid on top so it cooks the meat right through so, so you don't get food poison obviously and it also keeps or helps keep a lot of moisture within the food so it doesn't dry up which is very important for tasty food so here's the mushrooms another two or three small handfuls oh man the smell it's that I know they can get that through the fucking camera El Paso is Jay fucking very much used. Is this whole all gone, yeah? Yeah. First, that's gone. Don't, I wouldn't advise you to full one of them. There's no need. Half is good. It was for two days. It's a lot of breast. Should, probably should have left some for you, should I? But looks of it. <laughs> Freak. So look, just sprinkle it over. You don't have to put it all in at once, like certain someone else did. Sprinkle it in nice and slow. Slow and steady. Wins the race. It's the same in the gym. Aggressive overload. No, oh, that's about half pack there. Yep, weighed that out before. Yep. For now, we let that cook away for about about between five to ten minutes, depending on how moist we want it to be and how much time we have. We're back. Right, so the chicken has been left on for like eight minutes with the lid on. Okay, let's give us a look at it. So we we'll take that off now. That's good. Take What's that next? Off and then next is the smoked paprika. So put that all over again. A little bit less in the paprika. Jesus. <laughs> that was a bit less, wasn't it? And I'll mix it up. I'll put the lid back on for literally only about three or four minutes. Yeah, they're getting nice and crispy. Swears can do it a bit longer. And the veg, just going, we're just turning it around so that the ones at the bottom are obviously getting a bit of loving as well, a bit of attention. Crisp them up. It's just about almost done. Right. Just going to find the most important part to my mix. Well, sorry, the second most important part behind the tacos mix is the paprika, small paprika. It's been in now for about Eight minutes. Get a nice close up there on how juicy that is. Okay. And paprika. So as you can tell I don't take the whole lid off. It's a bit different. It's just this. Look. Right hand. Feed the pony. Cover the whole thing. Oh, I missed that. And you put the lid back on. Let's leave that now just for like three minutes. Yeah, and I'm actually just going to do the same thing with my one here. Keep mixing like the paprika into the actual. The commence is going through the dark red there. Chicken's going orange. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's good. <laughs> 
just going to turn this up. We'll last a little bit just to blast it before it finishes. Just to go down here actually to show you what we do to finish off the green veg. So it's it's at a stage now where it's it's it's, it's almost there. We personally like it uh, a bit more crisp. Okay, so as you can see there, it looks good. Well, it's going to just to crisp off the bit of asparagus and the top green beans. We're just going to put this onto the grill. We'll just finish off on the grill. Just the grill there. A bit of Whitney. Loves it. That's up to 260. Let's just finish that off for about three to four minutes in the grill. Try it. Okay, so the finished product. Don't be fucking at it. Always does that. Takes them. So that's the finished product for the green beans after the last uh, five minutes in the grill at 260 degrees. As you can see, nice bit of crisp there. I think they see it. Yeah, yep. they got it. Yeah, yep. they got you eating it as well. And that's that. So, that's the chicken done. Looks beautiful. And the beef mince done as well. So that's actually just going to do me for two meals. It's 375 grams. And Dave, that is going to do you. For That's about meals. 470 grams of chicken, yeah? Yeah, two meals. Two meals. So, there you have it. Quick, easy, and tasty. Mm. <laughs> so, as you can see, they're both on the plates. Just to finish it off with a bit of... Oh, I heard you have some. Yeah. I was doing it for the effect of the video. Huh? The recording was... Just show us it, exactly what it is. Pink Himalayan salt. Uh, why why not use regular salt over pink Himalayan salt? Talk to us. Oh, do you tell me? No, 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 <laughs> this is your one. <laughs> There's just more vitamins and minerals in <clears throat> pink Himalayan salt and sea salt. Table salt is useless. Yeah? It's useless, yeah. This just tastes as good, if not better. We just get a quick close up on these. So that's my one there. The half the 375 grams of mince. 40, 40 grams of Brazil nuts, the green veg. And Dave's is half of his chicken, which is about 240 grams, and green veg. So that's what it looks like on the plate. We can't wait to tuck into this. Mmm. Nice. Okay. It's pretty much, that's all the footage we have today from cooking. Um, hope you enjoyed watching it. Why? Why are we so passionate about cooking our food in this manner? Well, <clears throat> for any diet to be sustainable, it has to be tasty. And we enjoy all our meals. All of them. Definitely. I wouldn't be eating them if I didn't enjoy them. Exactly. And that's the way you have to look at your diet too. And we, you might, that was a bit of effort. Not really. No. But, but, like, but to someone watching them, I think, a bit of effort. It's worth it. So... And it, uh, to be honest with you, it took us a bit longer than usual today because we're videoing. Because we're videoing, yeah. Usually, like, that takes... Cold now. The, 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 the green veg takes 20 minutes. The other stuff, if you have that in then and you're cooking your, your whatever protein source you're going with your meat, that literally takes, like... It does not take long at 10, all. 10, 12 minutes. If yeah. If you have stuff ready and you're, you're ready to go, you develop a little system for it. That's the, actually what we, what we kind of do with our cooking. It's like anything. You start off and it could take you maybe a half an hour to do the whole thing and all you're trying to do is just bring the circle smaller each time so you're literally cutting that down from 30 minutes to hopefully 20 minutes or 15 yeah. minutes. And you're not going to get a perfect the right time, the first time. No. You're going to, there's going to be a few trial and errors, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But we you have to find out what works for you. Like training, isn't it, as well? Yeah. Everything, really. Like you're a partner. Yeah, so hope you enjoyed the video. Yeah, so that's all from today from Keen's Kitchen. Keen's Kitchen. Keen's Kitchen. We'll catch you in the next one. And as always, episode one. Episode one. As always, uh, if you enjoy the video or any of the content that we're putting out, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and so you can email us at pt 100 at gmail.com or get us on Instagram at 100% pt. Yeah. Thanks guys. Hope Thanks you for watching. Hope you enjoyed and do send us a uh, Whatever the young kids are using these days. <laughs> Catch you in the next one. <laughs> Go for it. Hey guys. We look ridiculous. We're tired. We look ridiculous. As in. What kind of child is this? <laughs> How painful.
Sam told him you. No, you're not Jacob. Sam, you're not Jacob. Welcome to cooking with, with Keenan David or David and Keenan. Fucking doubt. I think it's all better than that, man. Um, welcome to Keen's Kitchen. Keen's. Welcome Keen's. to Keen's. Welcome to Keen's Kitchen. Where today we're going to be cooking food, <laughs> and which is not the case at all. No, is it? No way, man. You'll see today now with the mince and the chicken. Am I using that? No. <laughs> <coughs> Alright, what's up? What's up? What, what, what? Do you want me to say it for better or words? For better, do you want me to say journey a bit like you For better or... For better or for worse. For better, for better or for worse? Yeah. That's marriage. It's pretty straightforward. Let's go. Chew. Enjoy. Two, one. This is for all you 80s babies. <laughs> Alright, let's go. If you want to email us, you can hit us up at pt100% at gmail.com or Instagram at pt100% no. <laughs> <laughs> pt. 100%. Pt. 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 Pt